who's actually in charge of the Loon's last game when they beat Linlithgow 4 1 in the Scottish Cup second round. Last game he was in charge for, for Dumbarton was that 2 0 win against Airdrie right at the start of the season. I was looking into it and um, I don't think Suns have lost a game under Kevin Graham since losing to Alloa in 2015, 3 0 at Recreation Park. So hopefully, hopefully he's a, he's a good sign. <laughs> Oh, we do love an omen. There was Jones, the number 10, excuse me. And that'll be an early foul on Forbes. We weren't sure who would be playing at left back as well, but it looks like Thomas Brindley's lining up at left back. Yeah. We were speculating as to whether Forbes might have dropped back into left back, but yep, Brindley looks to be there at the moment. It's also a new defender, Nick McAllister, on the bench for Suns. He's going to go towards... Oh, it was very close actually. It was a good ball into Morgan Neal's head, but the linesman flagged for offside straight away. First team coach on here is Wilson. It's come all the way through to him, and oh, McCallum just just about got away with that one. Played by Carswell and McGeever. Here's Wardrop. He's got some help from Jones. It's a decent ball, and he wins the corner is it four for keeper McCallum has been blocked off and here come Dumbarton it's a decent ball right into the six yard box it's dealt with by the Loon's defense defense oh, no draw on the opening day of the season and it's proven the case already and swinger right towards Ramsbottom who may have just got a touch on it but the foul was given against the goalkeeper Forbes again lofts it in and it's towards Wilson who almost got it down and the shot is just sliced wide by Neil. It's unfortunate, it was a difficult chance but it was a chance. And it'll be another set piece from the left foot of Forbes again. It's come all the way to Wilson and he just, just couldn't get on the end of it. And he slams the turf in frustration in the six yard box. Another decent chance. The referee has just allowed them to take a little time over this, which is exactly what Irvin is doing. And it's the same ball to the back post. And I was about to say Ramsbottom should collect. He did. For Jones to get it back across. And that's come right into McCallum, who had to touch it over. And let's see if he does it again. And he does. Oh. And it came all the way to Neil, the home side. It's well played by Wardrop and Frizzell. Wardrop has been absolutely everywhere down this right-hand side today in this first half. He did really well to dig out the cross, and it's Wilson. Smart stop from McCallum. Best chance of the game so far. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time either keeper has been seriously worked and Mark McCallum certainly stood up to a fantastic save down to his left. Slight hesitation from McGeever, but he has recovered. And it's Wardrop's turn to get rid this time and it will be a free kick right on the edge of the box. It was Moore that won it. And it is call. It's dinked straight into the arms of Ramsbottom. And the debutante will be delighted about that. And um, was about to lamp him. And Andy, Wilson, uh, Andy Monroe looks like he could probably lamp somebody with quite a bit of force as well. I would not like to be on the end of that. From what I could see, it looked like Monroe stopped himself punching. Yeah. He Look, was thinking about it. He took a moment and thought, hmm, this probably wouldn't be a wise idea. Ramsbottom nearly putting his side in all sorts of danger with a short back pass. I think he just needs to calm down, take a second. Everybody needs to calm down, I think, just by the by the sounds of things. And the same thing's happened oh, again, no. and the ball is going to trickle all the way over the line. Unbelievable way to go one down 
Ramsbottom has fired the ball against McGeever. And he's just chased the ball back but couldn't reach it. And it is 1 0 to Forfar. This could be a dangerous position for Moore, and he hits it. Good save, Ramsbottom. And that'll do his confidence a world of good. You know, these players feel sharp. They want to get out there. They want to make a difference and, and, and help the cause. Brindley fires it in and it's found its way to Frizzle and he just couldn't quite get his foot over it. It's just fizzed wide. Forbes plays his way out of trouble. Very, very well done. Here's Frizzell with some space to run into. Into Carswell, skips past one and finds Wardrop. <laughs> Fantastic move, but the shot straight at McCallum. As Dumbarton try and find their man of the match to get them out of this position. Cross and turns and finds McCluskey. for a box flooded with yellow shirts. And the ball eventually comes to McCluskey, does well. Brindley flicks it to the back post, but there's nobody there for Jim Delivery. Duffy's men. Burst. And is in a foot race with Brindley. Ramsbottom saves his left back. And that's a great ball to McCluskey. He might have the chance to get forward and get the ball into the box. He's got Forbes with him. And this must be it. Lovely ball from Frizzle and it's Forbes and he hits it with the left foot. And he just scoops it over the bar. And that might be the chance to get a point gone. That'll be that, you'd imagine. That was the, the chance that we weren't even sure if it was gonna come. Ross Forbes getting into a great position, getting the ball back onto his left foot. Not been a great deal of stoppages either, has there? I mean, I know there's been the odd foul and Forfra maybe ran the clock down a wee bit, but it's nothing nothing too extreme. Yeah, the Forfra bench asking for the full-time whistle. And how much will those chances come back to haunt Dumbarton in the strangest of strange seasons? Uh, Ryan McGeever own goal gives Forfra Athletic the win here at The Rock.